Hello you guys, my name is Marco. First of all, I know that the light is hitting my hat and it's casting a shadow. Sorry, it's whatever. There's that and also I know right here it's not finished painting because I ran out of paint. So there's that. So on this video what I want to talk about is I want to talk about cleaning up my room. Okay, so uh, this is my room. I'm literally exposing myself as in, as in showing you guys how my room <laughs> looks like. It's a big mess. It's because I have like a lot of like I have things that I want to put, but it's just it's not that it's a mess. It's more like in a sense that I have like a lot of things in here that I just don't know where to put them at, and I want it to look great and also put them in a place where it's going to be functional. Now here's the thing. I'm also I also want to talk about the ideas and the things that I think about when it comes to cleaning up a room and certain things that I have. You know thoughts about because there's people on YouTube that do like organizing stuff clean out the room and stuff like that And I just want to add something to that. I want to have my opinions and my things when it comes to that Obviously look here's the thing my room I have been organized in a way where I'm able to film and make my videos look different every single shot But that's my personal preference if you're a person that does not film or does film but doesn't mind film in one location that then you can do whatever you want it's just I'm just gonna say that okay straight up because I have like s different things and stuff like that so there's that okay okay so let's begin so the first thing I would recommend to do is to remove everything from your room so it will look like you have a clean like empty room you know, it's kind of sort of like the idea of you starting to paint and you have like a blank canvas, something like that. Obviously, your bed is going to be the one thing that you're probably not going to remove because it's your bed. It doesn't matter because you're still going to put it back. So I would just leave that the way that it is and everything like that. Now, when it comes to organizing and thinking about a way where to put things inside your room, you need to think about a concept. Now the way that you will pick that uh, is by looking at photos, go to Google Images, go to Pinterest, or any of those places are very fine. And there are like a lot of a lot of things that they're pretty cool. Um, I've seen a lot of them that takes like the idea of like a white or like a really light gray wall and they have like a cool little desk, have like, you know, a triangle stuff, so, you know, a lot of that stuff and it looks really great and stuff like that. Uh, so there's those things you can do and sort of like think about those things. Um, then after that, what you want to do, after you got done that, you want to think about, focus on the one thing that is really, really important. And that one thing I will say is your closet. Obviously your bed's important, but your bed, you already going to have it there. Like I said, you're not going to move it, so you're just going to have it there the way where it is, you know. <laughs> Just uh, just pick a place where you want to put your bed at and stuff like that. The other thing is your closet. Like I said, it's really important because a lot of people tend to sort of skip that. And when they, when, when they skip that and they wake up early in the morning or wake up really late, they're just trying to find something they want to wear and they can't because it's like, oh my God, where I'll make this, this and that. Oh, I should wear this, stuff like that. And their closet is a big, huge mess and they just wear whatever they find and that sucks you know because when you actually get to plan out an outfit it looks really you look great you feel confident you feel amazing so don't skip on the closet and the first thing when it comes to closet that i think will make it look really good is coat hangers now i have now the reason why i say coat hangers because coat hangers is one of those things that if you have something that looks the same consistently it just makes everything kind of connect with each other so the uh this the co hanger that I have, which I really do like a lot. The problem with this one is that I got this at IKEA and they discontinue this, which I don't really like. I like it because it kind of looks kind of like thickness and stuff like that. It kind of reminds me of like a cartoon character, the way they will have like a co hanger because the way they draw the characters or something like that. But it sucks because <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can find them on Amazon or eBay or any place like that so I can get more of these. Um, you know, so there's that. So make sure you have like a nice consistent co hangers because it makes it look clean and all of these things. Now we're going to talk about clothes, uh, clothing. Now, when I think about clothing, I try to divide them with colors because 
that's actually like to be honest dude when you're gonna get an outfit you usually try to combine certain things with the color so what i like to start out is that i start with white then brown then blue and then gray and then black now if i have a color for instance red yellow green orange or anything of those colors or even pink if you're you know if you like that color um i would have it between the blue and the gray i would just have that right there or you can actually have a special place for those type of outfits and that's just the way that i like to put it because it looks very like cool it just it just looks nice so there's those and i do the same thing with my pants i just have them all laid out like that's the color that i have them now when it comes to shoes which shoes are important um shoes i have this which i don't have that many shoes but it just looks nice because here's the thing to me i spend money on my shoes like 100 bucks 50 bucks close to something like that and i want to be able to show them off and make sure that my closet looks really nice and clean so that's why i have them open of course you can always get a closet that is closed that you don't see your shoes but nonetheless that's the reason why i showed them off you can always get something like this one i don't have that many shoes so this one is just fine for what i need it for uh but of course there's many options there's many diy stuff so there's that um so now we can move out to um basically uh products that you will use for like your face your hair or hair gel or any of those things those are the things that you really need to have them very like close by to me i have this this uh little lunch bag that i bought um at target and i just put everything like my cologne and everything like that and i put them all in there so when i go to the bathroom i could just take that you know take a shower and then i could just use all those things at once and when i come back i just put it back there and it just makes everything a lot easier a lot better because it's just simple and it's great to have that and it's great to have like a place for that so you could just use it because sometimes some people they just forget to put on their perfume or a cologne or put on like deodorant or something they just forget because it's not really easy access to me one of the things i would recommend is anything that you have in your room that you use constantly make sure that you have it in a place that is very easy access that you can see it by seeing it right if there's something that you probably use once a week or something like that have it there where it's like where it's not hidden but where it's not so much easy access to get it you know because you know like like certain things like for instance um this thing which is a thing to actually like clean your shoes right you will have it like that or certain things that you normally would use now yeah so there's that okay it's all about you know and if you have other extra accessories it's mostly about you know uh color coordination like belts and anything like that just make sure you have them really nice make them look good and that's how making your closet it's really great that's the one thing that people tend to uh kind of like really forget now let's talk about the second thing i mean the third thing or second whatever um is storage to me i have this one right here which is a wooden uh thing that you could just like i don't know it's called i buy the ikea it's called the e-bar and they still sell it there i believe it's really great because you can really really change how like how like uh, the shelves uh, you put them at and I really do like it a lot and the way that you put this is that you put this metal this small little metal like like stick thing the smaller bit you put it there and then you put the slam that thing down I don't know what to call it it's like the shelf one shelf thing slam that thing down and that's how you end up doing it. and you can customize it however the way you want you could do this whatever how you want which is really great and that's where you can use it for storage also down right here at the bottom i have these white little like box things that i don't know what is used for storage and what i like to use it for i like to use it for my dirty clothes i like to put the white clothes on one side the dark clothes on the other side soon i will buy more so i can get like the collar or the jeans or any of those things i just love have like that because if i were to go wash clothes and if i need a certain call that actually just grab the whole entire thing and makes it a lot easier so i have that and then i just have all of those stuff okay so the other thing that i uh basically decided to do is a desk a desk is probably one of those things that a lot of people do need 
which I think is important. A, why? Because sometimes you just want to use the computer, or you're doing homework, or you're drawing, or just doing basically anything. You need a desk so you can sit in there. To me, I have this ultra wide monitor, which I think it looks really great. I bought it used, I guess. I don't. So, and I also got this uh, keyboard, and I also add this kind of like a bottle with this like fake uh, plant leaf thing that I think looks pretty cool, and just makes it adds a little bit more. Like if you add like fake plants into like your room or something like that it just brings a little bit to life like i have this one right here which i bought in ikea which looks really like, great uh, so there's those things and i think that's about it i think that's all i think that's all i want to talk about um of course i have other stuff that we'll talk about um so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give you guys a small little bit tour of my room how it is right now and the things i have in my room just so I can sort of like, you know, just show you guys a little tour. Okay, so right here is where I have my jeans. If you guys can see the cool color coordination, black, and that's what I have. Right here is just some, um, these are like dress shirts, I could say. I don't know, I just decided to put my dress shirts in there. And the rest of my uh, shirts are actually inside there. Uh, the reason why this wall... Uh, this closet door is green is because of I wanted to have a green screen and I painted that green it didn't work because it has that label thing right there I don't know that this thing right here and it kind of like messed things up and then I decided to do an artwork but that didn't work so yeah so uh, there's that and also I have these things these pictures or whatever because I want to look very punk rockish like a long time ago but a while ago or something a long time ago and I now I'm like eh, I'm just gonna put this covered up soon I will remove it but for right now I just leave it there uh, okay so okay so right here I keep my hats right here I have my blow dryer my strainer when I use it but I don't really use my strainer my blow dryer so sort of don't because I air dry my hair just wait until it dries and that's good um, right there I keep my glasses so you have a little bit of um, my comb and this is just some hairspray some stuff and this right here is the thing where I keep my my sunscreen my cologne and uh, my lotion and my deodorant just stuff like that and this I could just take this to like the bathroom and I could just put it on there okay so right here's my bed as you guys see this one I know this is not color coordinated with the rest of it but I need like a back board thing because you know because I don't know I just need that um I try to go like with the gray the white and and this thing also this is gray I like how this one has patterns this one I bought it at Costco uh this one I actually bought it at Walmart it was actually really cheap um I really do like it this is what this one is but the thing about it is that um the reason why I got it because it was white and also had like this arrow textures on it which I really do like I think that's pretty cool and then right here I have this uh, white desk I got it at Ikea now this desk is actually sort of a pain in the ass because I bought it because I need another desk so I can make I want to make videos or when I make stuff I can have a desk to do that with but every single time I'm trying to move it in my room I can't figure out a place where to put it so now I have it there and right here I have uh, that is actually uh, something similar to that where I'm supposed to put my guitar and stuff like that because I have a guitar that I want to put up there but I can't because uh, that thing broke and I have those things that have that leaf thing uh, my mask uh, this Laurel Croft poster the unfinished stuff and then uh, right here this is also I would like to say this this right here is actually an RGB light and what this thing is, is basically a PVC pipe that is put down right here. But then also I glued in the uh, RGB light strips to it. So it give light to like the backdrop or something like that. I don't know. Um, right here I just have all of my like mask or you know these backpacks and stuff. Then right here um, I have some stuff that I don't really like I need them. But at the same time I don't rarely use them so I put them in this thing. Um... I have this, which is, I made a video about how I made this, also this right here, and also I made a video about how I made this, so there's that, this is my, uh, 
military world war helmet um you know i i put this thing on and i did this because i i wanted to make it look like it's from like uh it was like this comic book that i really do like a lot that the character uses a helmet you know and then after that i have this which is this I actually got it at a drift store and this is from the brand called Burn, Burn, Burn or something like that. So there's that. Um, so there's that. And right here, these are things that I don't necessarily don't know where to put them at. These are my contact lenses. And this is my other lotion I have, which I don't really use it. This is my charging station. The charging station is really important because you can just charge all your stuff there. And my camera stuff, which I have it there. Um, some more art stuff, some paper, some paints, and these, um, right there I have some stuff, right here, there's some, you know, clean my shoes, right there, there's where I put my dirty clothes, um, right here is where I have my guitar mount to the wall, but the thing about it is that I don't know where exactly to put, like, I wish I could move this somewhere that I could put it mount to the wall, but I can't because, I don't know, like, I don't know where to put it. And then there's that, which is my, my, my amplifier with my pedals, which they're like, kind of like, like I want to use them when I have time or when I feel like I want to do it, but I just, I just don't know where to put it in my room. Don't know. Then right here I have, well, I have my Kleenex, which I, I have them, but I don't know where to put them. Like, I don't know, but I really do need these because. I have a runny nose all the time. Um, I have my ultra wide monitor, my my uh, my keyboard, which is a mechanical keyboard, and then I also have my JBL Charge Three speaker, my um, my uh, Skull Candy Crushers wireless. I got this lamp that I got at Kia, which they don't sell them anymore, and it was actually half off. So there's that. Got the plant, and I got these extra cables. These cables are actually cables from this and from that. I just haven't plugged in because I don't have plugged in. I have this one, Big Daddy from Bioshock. I have my controller, this uh, weird little outlet that I forgot to clean it up or something. I don't know. My Samsung TV. So there's that. Got some games. The two uh, books from uh, Legend of Zelda, uh, Legend of Zelda stuff. Uh, tracer gun that I want to remake because that one doesn't look great. I also have that one, which is my uh, That one is my mercy gun and right here. I have a few little magazine my Disneyland uh, stuff because I went to Disneyland and I Kept that because I really did like Disneyland. my Wii U my Xbox. This one right here is actually my laptop Link and my old phone yeah, so there's that. So hopefully you guys uh, really did enjoy this video. Um, I had a concept, I mean I had an idea of how this video is going to turn out. Hopefully it does turn out the way I want it to. If it not doesn't turn out the way I want it to, then okay. Um, there were some things that I forgot to mention, which I, I hate myself for that. But if, I don't know, I just want to continue. I just want to get this video done because I have an idea for another video. Which is like uh, how to do something. And I think that's going to look pretty cool. So that's that. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you guys later. And bye.